Moths and butterflies belong to the insect order Lepidoptera. Lepidoptera means scale wings, and you may see those little scales come off if you touch a butterfly. It looks like dust or powder that may be on your hands. But if it's still a living creature, you can let it go and it will fly away. It will be all right. Today we're going to talk about the difference between moths and butterflies. Let's start with butterflies. So butterflies in general are daytime flyers. We call that diurnal. And we see them often really pretty, beautiful colors flying from flower to flower, collecting nectar from their straw-like or tube-like curled up proboscis. That mouth part allows them to suck up the liquid from those flowers. And when they land on those flowers, they often hold their wings together. And sometimes they open it to get the warmth from the sun. We also notice that they've got two antennae that are often skinny and they have little clubs at the end. On the other hand, moths often have furrier, heavier bodies. They usually fly at night or they're nocturnal. So we often don't see them very much and they don't need to be seen. So sometimes they are a dull brown or gray, but they also do come in many beautiful colors. When they land, they have their wings spread out flat and their antennae are usually really furry and feathery because at night, they rely on other senses from their antennae to locate a mate. They often don't have functioning mouth parts and don't feed as adults. So their main purpose is to mate and they need those antennae to find them. There are some exceptions to every rule though. And so we do have daytime flying moths and we do have moths that have skinny antennae. And we also have a group called skippers that have characteristics that are kind of butterfly-like and moth-like. We want to see butterflies and moths because some of them are really great pollinators. But we have to remember both of these organisms start off as caterpillars and caterpillars need a host plant to survive and grow. So plant those flowers for your butterflies and your daytime flying moths and plant a lot of host plants that you don't mind getting eaten. Give them a break, those little caterpillars, and enjoy the butterflies. <laughs>